Copenhagen is the city I initially wanted to move to in summer. But I didn't find a room in my price range in time, so I moved to Aarhus instead. Even though I only visited Copenhagen once, this city holds a special place in my heart and who knows, maybe I'll actually move here one day. But in the meantime, I can pay Copenhagen visits. So that's what I did this Thursday. I took a three and a half hour long bus ride and found myself in a perfectly sunny Copenhagen. I have traveled alone quite a few times now but I never really just went on a little trip by myself like just for fun so that's what this is now also I'm really sorry for the noise but I think there's like some construction happening anyway I came to Copenhagen this morning with the bus it's like kind of a long bus ride so I arrived a few moments ago I was in Copenhagen this January and it was really cold and I couldn't really explore. I came here with my mom. So this is like the first time I really see Copenhagen in the sun and it is so beautiful. I think I'm kind of in a library garden right now and it all looks very royal and just beautiful. And Copenhagen in the sun is like just completely different. And also I just love the colorful trees everywhere. I love to see Copenhagen in my favorite season. So I'm so happy to be here and it's like my first time really exploring a city by myself and I'm so excited. I'm only here for like one night but still I'm so happy to be here. I think I'm now just gonna explore and wander around a bit more and then I'm gonna go on a hunt for a cafe because I need a coffee and I want to keep reading my book. I brought a book here to read. I brought this book here, Almonds. I heard such good things about it and I started it on the bus and now I'm, I'm already 80 pages in and it's so good. I love it so much. So I'm gonna look for a cafe and then keep reading a bit in here. It's also so warm. It's beautiful. I'm so happy I like got lucky with the weather because that doesn't happen a lot in Denmark. But I love Copenhagen so much. just checked into where I am gonna stay and I'm gonna stay in a hostel and I've never stayed in a hostel before let alone stayed in a hostel alone before kind of creepy kind of scary kind of weird but I feel like that's just an experience you need to have had so um, but there's nobody here so that's good and now I'm gonna go walk to a thrift store that I saw that's supposed to be really amazing and huge so that's what I'm gonna be doing because it's still such nice weather like the sky is blue look at the sky like and that in Denmark can you see that yeah
at that thrift store because it got kind of warm and overwhelming and I was getting tired so I didn't buy anything there but now I'm walking to like a pasta place that I actually wanted to go last time like in January but they don't take reservations so it's like just walking and we couldn't get a table but I think it's gonna be easier to get in as only one person This hostel is actually not that bad, but it's kind of, you kind of get lost if you don't pay attention. Like, it's kind of a maze. My first hostel experience was actually quite pleasant, like it wasn't that bad. Um, I already checked out now in respect to the others, like I didn't film anything in there because that would be kind of weird. I'm right now walking to a bakery that I really want to go to and I actually wanted to go there last time too but we kind of didn't have time for that last time and also it was like so cold that we couldn't like walk out there. I'm kind of refusing this trip to like take the public transport because I just want to see as much as possible which means I have to walk long distances like yesterday when I walked to the thrift shop each way was like one hour but I got to see so much and like places that I haven't seen yet and I think it's really worth it So here are my thoughts about my first real solo trip. Somehow I was kind of surprised how smoothly everything went. Doing things like this that are a little bit out of my comfort zone always turn out to be really good for my own trust in myself. I also had a lot of time to self-reflect and think. What I loved most about this experience was that it was so easy to decide what to do next because I didn't have to worry about anyone else's needs so I was just able to go with my intuition. I also love traveling with others but it can cause conflicts very easily. I loved to just observe quietly. Thank mm -hmm. you. 